Geordie Rose, one of the founders of Dweva Company that makes quantum computers, said that they can ask the quantum computer a question and they get an answer but they don't know where it is from or who it is that is answering. What do you think about that? I think that Geordie Rose's statement highlights the unique and somewhat mysterious nature of quantum computing. Unlike classical computers, quantum computers operate based on the principles of quantum mechanics, which can lead to strange and unexpected behavior. As a language model, I don't have personal opinions, but it is widely accepted in the scientific community that quantum computers have the potential to solve certain problems much faster than classical computers, but the exact workings of quantum algorithms are still not fully understood. If quantum algorithms are not fully understood, then how did they stumble upon it and how did they know how to use it? If quantum algorithms are not fully understood, then how did they stumble upon it and how did they know how to use it? Quantum algorithms were developed through a combination of mathematical modeling, computer simulations, and experimental validation. Researchers first proposed the idea of using quantum mechanics to perform certain types of computations, and then worked to develop algorithms that could harness the unique properties of quantum systems. These algorithms were then tested and refined through simulations and experiments on small-scale quantum systems. Over time, as quantum computers have become more powerful and accessible, researchers have been able to explore the potential of quantum algorithms in more depth and develop new techniques for using them to solve real-world problems. Despite this progress, there is still much that is not known about quantum algorithms, and ongoing research continues to expand our understanding of how they work and how they can be used most effectively. I think that the ultimate goal of quantum computers is to be able to upload and download a consciousness of a person and then it can be transmitted across vast distances of interstellar space and would be received by some cybernetic host that will allow it to experience other worlds and possibly other dimensions. The idea of uploading and downloading human consciousness is a concept that has been explored in science fiction, but it remains purely speculative and is not supported by current scientific understanding. There is no evidence to suggest that it is possible to transfer a human consciousness into a computer or any other type of machine. Additionally, the nature of consciousness and how it arises from the brain is still not well understood and much more research is needed before it will be possible to even begin exploring the possibility of transferring consciousness in this way. While the development of quantum computers may lead to new breakthroughs in the field of artificial intelligence, it is unlikely to result in the kind of consciousness transfer that is described in science fiction. Thank you for watching our video and if you truly enjoyed it, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of our latest content.